Hey guys, this is Rich. I'm one of the Ford mechanics here at the dealership. Um, I'm here on a Saturday and basically uh, just coming in to get some extra hours. A vehicle showed up this morning that kind of prompted this video and this person said, look, I broke down. Uh, I could start the vehicle, but when I put it in gear, it doesn't go anywhere. Guys, I cannot push this enough. I've had, I've had several friends now with these fusions that end up breaking down at the gas station, at their home, whatever it is, and they go to get in the vehicle and shift it, and it'll shift, but it won't go back in a park, it won't go into neutral, it stays in gear, they go to get out of the car thinking that it's in park and it keeps moving. It's because there's a recall on the transmission shifter cable bushing. People neglect when they get these letters in the mail to avoid it done, they think, oh, it's no big deal, it's no big deal. That bushing will literally come out of the hole of the transmission shifter there's a recall out that's why you guys are sent these letters and i'm not blaming it on anybody trust me i know everybody's time is just as valuable as the next if not more in some cases but what i have to put out to you guys is it's super important i told a friend four months ago when she told me about the recall she got the mail i said go get it taken care of right away please she broke down at the gas station about six weeks ago had to have it towed to the dealership it was just it was a simple 20 minute fix 30 minute fix if she would have just listened to me that turned into several hours and then having her vehicle down for the entire weekend before they could fix it the following monday please 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 be aware there is uh let's see 16s42 drivers front and passenger seat belt pretensioners basically what we do is we pull the plastic off the side in between the front and driver but by, on the B pillar and where the cable goes into the pretension on the bottom we, squir we squirt an epoxy that seals it up like cement down inside there it's just a recall not every single car is going to have an issue actually rarely I think it's like less than less than two percent or something like that even have issues with this and it's not even a percent but we do it anyway as a precaution go get it done 16s42 we squirt an epoxy which is this this blue epoxy right here down in the pretensioner cables and we just seal them up now another recall 18 so8 that's where we take the steering wheel bolt that sits in the center of it and we remove it and we put a longer one in with more loctite this bolt right here and it's got loctite from the factory it's probably half as or uh, twice as long as the one that goes in there just to make sure it's really secure and here's the bushing that goes in the transmission sh transmission shifter cable and then here's the new cap that goes on the end of the cable to protect it so it doesn't get dirty um the 19s16 shifter cable bushing is the recall for that so if you get a 19s16 a 16s42 or an 18s08 recall on your fusion 2013 to 2016 don't make time for it go get it done be done with it you know, don't wait, don't drag your feet and stuff on this, especially the transmission shifter cable bushing and the seatbelt deal. Get it done. Don't wait. You're going to run into problems. The cable especially. I'll put up the, the numbers in yellow here, and then uh, I'll do a quick shot here of uh, you seeing actually what it looks like with it coming off and where to look to see if yours has come off. Anytime you feel like that cable is giving you problems or something's up with the vehicle, set the emergency brake. When you go to get out of the vehicle, if shut the vehicle off, if it's stuck in drive and it wants to keep going on you and it won't go in park, set the emergency brake, shut the vehicle off, get out of the vehicle, and call a tow truck, call a dealer, call a friend, somebody that can get you somewhere so you can get that car to get fixed. Do not try to drive that car. I seen a lady pull over at the gas station, literally down when I was living in Louisiana, filled up with gas with the emergency brake set and the vehicle set in drive instead of actually getting it fixed. That's what she was doing. She would leave it in drive, set the emergency brake with the car running, with her children in the car, fill up with gas, get back in the car, take the emergency brake off and take off. You're asking for problems. You can really hurt somebody doing that. If it's stuck in drive and it will not go in park, shut that vehicle off, make sure the parking brake is set and call the dealer, get a tow truck out there to get that car to the dealer. It's very important you do this. Thank you.